Now's a good time to introduce the reference code. We've definitely talked about this before, but I want to make sure you know exactly where it is. Um, so if you go to joincfe.com slash GitHub, click on repositories and search try Django 1.10, we get our try Django 1.10 repository. So if I click on that, it's going to show me all of the things that are related to this particular project. Of course, we just created this. So by the time you're watching this, the entire project will be done versus what you see here because the video is in current time. It's not in the future. Um, but anyway, so we have all the lecture code here. What do I mean by lecture code? Well, in that last video, we pretty much just set up the Django project, added Cur, and we added in the, or we talked about the settings and we also added in that db.sqlite stuff. We really didn't do a whole lot, but if you click on that lecture code, it takes you to the repository as it existed at the end of that video. That means it takes you to the code as it existed at the end of that video. So without jumping ahead, you can actually see the code at the end of each lecture so you don't get confused by new code. So if I go into this SRC folder and look at my setting file, which is all I did, I don't see anything really new in here, right? There's really nothing different than what we already had. It's pretty much the same. Okay, so that's that's the important part as far as GitHub is concerned. And yes, we will be updating this as far as the entire video is concerned. So watching TryJing 1.10, we update it throughout the entire time in this whole series so you guys can make sure that you have your code up and up to date as far as the videos is concerned. Now we have a lot of projects, so we don't actually update individual projects themselves to the newest versions. Which that means is if you jump into our repo and you look at, let's say, try Django 1.9, which was listed right here, this is still version 1.9. And you can see how long ago we actually updated it. We don't update those old projects because of that video version stuff that we've already talked about. If it's something major, we absolutely will update it and write a little note in the code like how it says added Python 3 support. There was something that happened after the video stopped, so we added some code in there to make sure that the Python 3 users had it. We do that with GitHub on somewhat regular basis, but that's kind of the main thing here as far as this repository or this project is concerned. See you in the next one.